We hear so much about healing the nervous system, but what's the science behind this? We can understand it through neuroplasticity and the name tells us what it involves. So with neuroplasticity, if we take the neuro part, we're talking about nerves. And if we take the plasticity part, we're talking about changing. So we have this amazing ability to change our nervous system. Now imagine that you're in a forest and you've always taken this one path. You've wa walked down that path many, many times before, but sometimes it takes you to this place of anxiety, overwhelm, shutdown, dysregulation. And you know that you want to change this. So in order to create that change in your nervous system, you're going to need to clear a new pathway and to chop down some of those branches, to flatten down some of that grass. At the beginning, it's going to take some work. So how long does it take to change your nervous system? Well, in the research, we look at it as between six to eight weeks where we have high repetitions. Now, in that time, we can create significant changes in neural connections with structure and function, and that can have a big impact on the way that our nervous system responds going forwards. In addition to having high repetitions, in eight weeks of experiencing something new, like the experience of regulation, we also want to have resources that are specific to the state we're in. Now, if I had a dollar for every time someone said to me, what's the one best exercise I can use to regulate my nervous system, I'd be so rich. But the fact is we actually don't have one best resource. It's what resource attunes to your nervous system at that point that will bring regulation. And another principle is the emotional connection you have to creating this change. So for what reason do you want to change your nervous system? Or why do you want to bring about healing? I worked in hospital wards with stroke patients who had lost functioning of their arm. And one of the ways that we encourage neuroplasticity to take place in their brain, where they'd had the bleed in the brain from the stroke, but we could create new pathways around that so that the functioning of their arm would be restored was to connect with why that was important to them. So for some patients, they might've said, well, when I get home, I can make myself a cup of tea independently, or I can cook for myself independently. And when we're connected with that emotional experience, it increased the likelihood of neuroplasticity and change happening in the brain. So if we want to look at ways that we heal the nervous system, we really need that six to eight week window. We need high repetition. We need specificity and we need to be emotionally connected to why it's important to us.